the Cypher coming onto Haven. Well, here we go. Round one, map one. X set 100 Thieves. Pistol underway, and 100 Thieves looking to get aggressive. Haven trying to back away. Depth there for a bit of assistance, and it does go even trades for now, but I don't believe X set really recognized how many 100 oh, wow. Thieves members were here, and that result... Recon Dart coming out of Hiko. They do read this. Paranoia still in play for Nitro, but BCJ just walks onto the site. Oh, but Nitro able to stay alive because the Dart cover into play finds one, and then eventually Hiko comes from behind to find his third elimination of the round. I, and 100 feet. piece of firepower basically on his team, and they're in a four on five, and they're after retake C, and they're still kind of far off of the site. Yeah, love this call from Xset, knowing that they got the Sentinel down first and foremost. Ethan tries to poke and prod his way in through the Nebula, gets one elimination before being traded. Death should surely be able to get this plant off, and 100 Thieves are going to have to retake if they even can find an elimination, because you've got an operator as a mix of this 3v4. And the play through Garage, I mean, this is a really tough look for 100 Thieves. They might back off and say the thing. Yeah. Well, Austin is able to make this a 3v3. Time is going to be a little bit of a problem. Both of the flashes have been spent from... Oh, actually, just one flash has been sent from second. There's the last one. Paranoia on the way in. Deutscher wants to contest. He go right behind, but the trades will come through now. A little bit off at the time. Going to get found out here at the back of B. Stuck behind a wall in a hard place there. Death's going to take him out. Spike going to go down. It's going to be a four on four. I know exactly. Spike planted. Girl deck will come into play. This from the offensive POV though, so lots of information here for Exit as far as what they want to do for their post plan. They've got BCJ holding over towards window, but it's actually Aaron inside the site with that. Trying to control some of these angles. He's going to try to reveal any information possible. The first one forward. Gravity Well also in play, trying to stall up as much time as humanly possible. And so far for Exit, things looking good. Here comes the retake attempt. Well, Ethan first remaining. two to fall. He goes short to follow. And Nitro with a frenzy is sitting here saying, mm, I'm going to try to recover a weapon. Always have to play fast, they are explosive. They're very capable of that. They also can slow the game down, just play a map control style, play the information game, and be a little bit more methodical. In you want to fight it! That's the IGL. Exit, and now they're looking to merge with like the second injuries. Nitro, though, to get one. Stays alive, Asuna coming on the way forward. I was able to find second, so actually beyond this, you thought the Trailblazer initial kill was going to be good for Xset, but the recovery from 100 Thieves comes so quickly, they actually stop Xset from even attempting to have it. There is an opportunity for them to maybe open some stuff up. Here is going to find Asuna up top. Keep going down, point of contact, but Kiko has been stranded on a bit of an island. He's going to be finding himself on one of these three fields with the start, but can't deal with the Cypher player himself. So Aaron finds the clean kill. Take is considered for 100 Thieves. What is going to be the play? Because Def is starting to set up all the stars around the key entry point. Kiko does not have a recon bolt as of yet. There is an Al drone to play with as, well, we can at least see what's going on with the... Uh, lot of breaking kills coming through. All right, there we go. Back on into it. And second and Aaron will actually fall, so the retake will be complete for 100 Thieves. Yeah, so we didn't really get to see the actual change things. Steel once more aggressive coming down and just crouches underneath death. Well, the IGL is going to be down here. Another first blood for 100 Thieves, and they're happy to use the neural depth and set up Asuna for a second kill. No problem mid-map. Now, Trailblazer is going to come through, but it doesn't actually stun Asuna. He's able to go into Garage and almost benefited from the fact that Ethan had the flash on Superior. He just misses the shot. But 100 Thieves, they still have a huge advantage here. Five on three, timing though. Got favoring Eco, Zek, and able to get that kill onto A Link. And oh my oh. goodness, Exit though, fighting their way back in. They have found an entry point. This is looking pretty solid. Pure watch on the rotation from C. Steel wants to feel things out. Knows where Zekin's positioned off the Seeker, but he's going to use that as a little bit of self-bait. Zekin finds the follow-up elimination. It's to go up 6-3, and once again, they force 100 Thieves down to an econ uh, situation. Yeah, absolutely. It's just Nitro on that Vandal. That's it. A couple players already being spotted here by BCJ inside that C site. He actually had the best spawn, so he took the Operator to kick things off in this round. As the rest of his team's looking to come up Garage with the flashes, and then the Hunter's Fury comes in to try to slow them down, but it's not going to work as they're the entries. Uh, but Nitro does get two, keeps things competitive. And potentially he could deny the post plan over towards C Long. That seems to be the case. So you're looking at Hiko and Steel from the front. Trailblazers are not going to find any connection, but does, of course, read the information. Aldrone will do essentially the same thing. It actually doesn't get deleted. It could tag again. Nitro from the back. Never was expected. Nitro is found four. Second, trying to hold on through the cyber cage, but Hiko pulls out the share. Especially considering the context of their last loss. Also no aggressive through sewer. Gonna find one right underneath the legs of the trailblazer. 
And it's still in a position to where he could contest a second, trying to find the flint shot down low, not going to quite connect. The next set still threatening. They've got blades as a part of this potential push. Yeah, Hatcher playing kind of a sometimes unchecked corner on this B side as well to just watch for the fallback into B site. Asuna still holding an angle here on Sewer's drone, helping clear out some of the close corners there. So they know that Exit has slowed down. They're not committing just yet for the push, but now Pierre is Pure moving up with that smoke, but doesn't check the corner. That was actually Asuna's smoke that came into play too, trying to use that against him, but does not unfold the way he was expecting it. So now 3v5 situation and only 50 seconds on the clock. This is going to be a hard-pressed push from the side of Exit. Yeah, I mean, in the rounds that 100 Thieves have won, it's really been off the back of how well they've been able to use their aggression at A. Sure, they let one round slip off the back of it, but they've also had a lot of success using it to get victories. And oh, Dev getting spotted in this corner, getting caught by Nitro as he was trying to play some stars. Now they'll be riddled useless. Aaron catching Nitro left. extending for more, but heck, it doesn't matter. 100 Thieves still have a 4 on 2 and no spikes down, and time is dwindling. Yeah. So it looks like Exeter looking to pivot to Garage. Not a lot of time to make this play happen. The defender here at C is going to be Ethan in the back corner. Of course, this is being Red Steel's on the way forward to be the second defender here. They try to reinforce, and as they do, they double peek. Find both kills, no problem. You want to in fight it. at the moment. Aldrin will scout him out. Can he get out of this? Exit are trying to punish, but the help from Ethan is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Trailblazer also coming through, but 100 Thieves have reinforced, and Exit have to give this away. But in the same oh, breath, nice. they do find a kill on the other side of the map, and that's going to lead to a quick rotation to A. There's the rotation out of Nitro's ult. Yeah, he's gotten here in plenty of time. They should know that it's possible. They might think that he's heaven, and that's what Aaron's looking for, and Nitro gonna catch him with that. Hiko reinforces, and... Yesterday's uh, performance for Exet to today's, the, the BCJ stat point is, I think, a really important one, because he was the MVP so of rare. this Haven map, without oh question. My. Asuna just goes right through Def, kind of breaks his ankle. <laughs> Def is holding on to this nebula saying, I've got no idea where Asuna has gone off to. Both players completely null of any information, but Def <laughs> still responds first. Hiko is stuck in the corner outside B main and very well could lurk for maybe an opening kill as 100 Thieves rotate to A. Yeah, they're going to get the spike plan at A, but past that, I'm not sure. It really kind of depends on if Hiko can make some type of timing flanking through A link, but otherwise you'd imagine Xset had this one. Well under their control, considering it's a five on three, and they're in good position here at the A side. Yeah, the flank uh, stops the spike plan even. Spike down this utility a. out of this X set and this recovery, they know exactly where this place is coming. Nitro, he's in for once. He's found some pretty decent clearance. He's got a frenzy at his feet if he wants it, but you're just outside. Heaven finds the kill. Hiko guessing right. Really, shock dart gonna tag a little bit of Asuna's health up, but still the spike is planted. And death, I don't think is gonna be able to stay on this back side of the play for very long. Under Thieves seem to know that he's in this position as Asuna does find first blood into BCJ. Aldrone to confirm. Death not going to get away. And the post plant for Hunter Thieves looking solid. Yeah, they're going to walk out this round against the bonus of their opposition. And, you know, funnily enough, when I was watching the VOD back from yesterday, when Hunter Thieves was playing against Hunter Thieves, for a recent roll swap coming through. Asuna going to test him. BCJ also a part as he's trying to make his way over to try to help, but is denied. So first two kills come through. Def trying to continue to contest the C site, but he'll be unsuccessful in that, and four members of the Thieves will survive with the plant. I'm hoping we can get like a third-person camera replay of what this is. Follow up, maybe an elimination beyond this. Knives are not going to be successful. Pierce somehow still alive, but cannot find elimination. Steel able to convert first blood, but still, Xset looks like they want to challenge this. Second's going to move forward off of his flash. Notes he's got a player down in hell, but cannot track him down. Meanwhile, though, Death for two, and Xset have stopped the plant successfully and now we go 2v2. The action's still going chaotically onto the site as the 100 Thieves are trying to track down second, who's able to find the operator for one. 1v1 with Aaron and the return from Xset come through as they capitalize. But he's actually learned his lesson from the last round. This is the same execute attempt from the side of 100 Thieves, but they're stuffed. The kill comes through. BCJ finds two. The Hunter's Fury's in the mix, but BCJ takes down a third. Hiko could never get into the play. Relation. Zekin trying to play it with death, but Steel finds elimination. Uh, and I'll say, if Hiko takes down Zekin here, we could be talking about a potential. He can't get that low. Tries to, to shoot through it and see if he can force a frag through, but Aaron. Quick the defensive touches. Can they put some pressure on up here? Oh, still able to recover. I don't think he meant to stay in the middles of sewers, but still finds elimination onto Asuna. Cloudburst will gain some separation. Seekers on the way in, though, defensively. Aaron, he's trying to take care of the Seekers. He actually finds a shot on the Hiko's head. Second does Imagine. the same to Ethan. And oh, everything just barely going wrong here for 100 Thieves. Just down to Nitro. And this is looking like a for sure 11 on the round, or the board, rather, for X set. Yeah, that's just a great play from Pure.
you know, getting into such a comfortable position with that operator in these. He talked about the fact that we hadn't seen X set play Haven competitively in a tournament since now taking down, like you mentioned, possibly two of the top NA teams on this map. Looking prime for it, at least for now. But 100 Thieves, they lose Nitro. It's going to be 4v4. Zekin up top, possibly tested, and here comes 100 Thieves on the entry. Aaron is a part of this, and he's actually done nicely with these cyber cages to create a little bit of time. Zekin looking to flash, but Aaron's already fallen, and now Zekin has to clutch things up, finds one. That'll be all he gets, though, on the first attempt. Trail laser coming in now as well, but gets shut down. Doesn't really get too much info off of that, but they still have a chance. Three on three. The thing is, they're all coming from lower side in heaven. That's going to be kind of a funnel to retake to get a big kill on Asuna. Oh, Steel stays alive. Seekers does come out. It actually will affect him, but he's provided himself some cover with the spy camp to where he doesn't really matter if he's concussed or stunned up. Trying to get the tag off to Zekin, maybe to finish the kill. Hiko from down low finds BCJ. And now Zekin, 1v2, 17 HP. Going to commit to trying to play forward through this. If only maybe just to grab the operator, and that is indeed the case. Oh, but look at the distraction in front. Two trap wires, two stars. That could slow things down significantly. Ethan gets hit, but the trap wire doesn't deal with it. But he go and steal. Meanwhile, simultaneously find two in response. So it turns into a 3v2 favoring 100 thieves, and they still want to try to pressure out Pierre through A. Shoulder peak tries to avoid the Aldrone, and it looks like he very well just may do that. Left. But Nitro has gotten onto the site. They seem to know that Pure is here, but have they given him enough space to maybe find an angle? Not the case. Spike will rotate behind this. Double Ops coming out now for Exit as well. Yeah. That will be something different here as Def will hold the second. Pure in a bit of trouble, has to back away. And, well, Aaron, who is trying to get aggressive through Sea Garage, also drops. So First Blood once again confirmed for 100 Thieves. Yeah, they have so much presence as well all across the map. They have a lobby control. They still have control of the middle. They're directing the Garage. And now they have a two-man advantage. I mean... An 11th round is looking oh so likely now. They've had everything play out exactly how they'd want to. They have so much at their disposal now. Nitro going to alt in and kind of check things out on C site. It's the read that Def is playing. The plat, but Def gets a collab through long. Oh, no. Now it gets interesting. Now it's not a foregone conclusion any longer. Oh, my goodness. No way. How big is that? Asuna still wants to challenge C. Get some top using his own Doc Darts. Recon Bolt Charge. But for 100 Thieves, still holding out of the Paranoia. Potential to contest this. There's the Paranoia. Asuna peaks exactly at the right time. Wants the red dot chase. Holds down the trigger, but Second still finds the kill. Second Guiding Light comes through. And Nitro's going to shroud and step away. They're going to play a little bit of a cross angle. And Steel will finalize the element. Potential of extra rounds needed. Just like those stage one counts of one grand final. Oh! But the early flash is coming through. 100 Thieves want to take over a control. Nico will go into the Hunter's Fury trying to finalize this kill in the corner and will. So the opening exchange, a dicey one, but Def slips in from behind to keep it a 3v3. And 100 Thieves a little bit stuck right now through a long. I uh, know, final round regulation and blow for blow so far in this round as they're now into a three on three. Second, trying to sneak up Infected. through sewers, gets caught by the Trailblazer, able to use a flash to at least escape back without getting caught. And they still have a pinch because they're pushed out through courtyard and even into attacking oh. spawn. And Zekin is holding the line. It might even get... He's going to go yet post-plant. But we know that the retake is going to be coming immediately. Oh, and that's a great catch. At least no once coming through long. They don't know they about the other, the, though. They still have the paranoia. That's the big key. The last nebula in play. Death going to fall. Aaron, do they know that he's here? He gets paranoia. Just out of the specter. Not going to find it. And Nitro with three in the round. Well, the Aldrin for BCJ potentially also in play. Asuna will walk forward and finds the kill on the death. Oh, that's so huge for 100 Thieves defensively. Not only is it first blood, but that's your smoker for Exit. How are you going to retake or even be able to get into a site? It looks like they do want to try to push immediately on in, and they find Nitro topside corner, a chance to get a plant off. They also stun Asuna with the Trailblazer, so he doesn't feel confident taking a shot to the initial smokes. The spike will indeed go down, and it's equal. They're able to dash out, and he gets flashed again, and they chase off of it. Aaron for one, but the trade is there. Ethan able to recover. 100 Thieves are on this site, but look at the post-plant setup for Xset. We've got one player close in Zekin. BCJ looks like he wants to come around through Garage. Aldrone's going to isolate Zekin. He needs to try to stay alive. Flash will come through. It's beautifully timed. Finds Steel for the first. Watch out for BCJ. He's on the flank. He finds the second. It's down to Eco. 1v3 and likely not enough time beyond that. Things looking very positive for Xset. Eco finds one. Toggles looking for a second elimination. No way. Has to try to stick. 
here doesn't want to fall for elimination and will eventually come back to the kill just the nick of time of applause to Zekin, the absolute savior of that round the newcomer to the team and see garage gonna be taken here by 100 thieves asana leading the way no surprise there death playing a top corner able to get his one and second play off of it for two again second having such impact Nairon finds one more beyond this, but is still tagged up. Hiko, last chance, 1v3. Lots more time to play with here, but no spike. Cyber cages are going to go down. Xset will recover the site for now. As this dissipates, will he find... Dancing with a couple little bit of pressure mid-map here. They fake the under two wall and actually step in front of it, and they're going to split A through screens. Now, Asuna, though, able to get the read on this, does get his first huh. attempt of asking. Aaron though, quick to trade, gets some side control. Spike's going to go down. I love that. All the focus for 100 Thieves, focus Spike middle. Planted. No one is actually watching the front. So an even exchange so far. Spike planted, but Asuna quick to recover. Steel also in the mix, and that will be a very favorable kill feed for 100 Thieves. Three for one. Just down to Zekin, who has no utility. Comes around the corner, does find Asuna. Gets maybe an opportunity and another, and then up top! 1v1 with Nitro, but caught on the reload. And Nitro from the high ground saves the round for 100 Thieves. Scary one, though, I have to say. x made that interesting, kind of faking the under two pressure and then just hitting A hard, while, like you said, all the fuck should be. Wall comes through. Boombox to enter. Aldrin up top. Deal. Reads one. Turns around. Deals with Boombox. Two players around the corner. Finds the first. Grabs the second. Job well done for Steel. Paranoia will unfortunately miss, but Aaron not going to find the kill in the Nitro. So 100 Thieves hold strong with the play through mid. Just down to mm -hmm. Kinzek and find information or a kill up top. The answer, no. And it's just down to BCJ 1v3. Yeah. I mean, 100 Thieves just kind of found that script. It's laying on the bench. Read it. Knew it was coming that scene. Had everything ready for it. All the props in place. As uh, Steel just teed off there. And yeah, BCJ with the Marshall. Got one shock dart. Does have spike. Does have time. Might be able to find a fallen specter or something, but I mean, his chances are still so And yeah, that's going to be it. Well, Asuna, great start. Has Empress through two rounds. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that Xset can put to use in this round. Well, Asuna. Goodness. Ethan's also red. There's more down low. Asuna wants to get aggressive. Just on the ropes. What in the SEAL Team 6 is this? He's going to find one. Stop. And then the right click. He's going to confirm the ace. What in the heavens? You've got a long lurk from Daff towards A, and then the wall placement could provide an opportunity, and that's brilliant. BCJ just grabs the barrel of steel and then wall bangs for a headshot to turn into a 4v4, but Asuna is still here. Mitro also peeking with them, and the double peek is successful to keep the numbers advantage for 100 Thieves. Yeah, this uh, B attack has been halted, but Daff has full control of A side and is calling for that spike to rotate, knowing that the site is clear. They could get disrupted, though, if Nitro times this mid-push appropriately. It looks like the spike will at least safely make it over. And yeah, Pura will as well. I don't think he's just content on playing the retake, knowing they have man advantage. Wall's going to go down to slow down the progression through screens, but it's immediately broken before it can be reinforced. But Viper's pit coming down, going to make it a little bit harder on 100 to retake now. Death sneaks away from the Leer, but doesn't fully sneak away from Nitro and Asuna. So it's down to Aaron and Pure, playing from essentially the same angle. Pure is going to make sure the backside of this Viper's Pit stays safe, trusting that Aaron can handle anything that walks in from the front. And here comes 100 Thieves on the retake attempt. Pure around the back. Oh, Aaron's not going to find the first elimination, though, but Pure does find two. Almost a chance for the third. Ethan puts him down before things got to it. And it does push Nitro back, but again, he can just walk right back in, reestablish the integrity, and now he's got help. Yep. And it's going to be hard to, like, do a lot up close when you're banking on a couple of marshals. I mean, I, I honestly don't understand it. Uh, on the one hand, I get it because it can tag people and then you finish them off with the Frenzy and the Spectre. But it also makes it a lot harder for you to get entries with those when you have to play these closer quarter situations. Oh, Nitro, so slippery around this Viper's Pit. Feels oh, right there still with him. Just hold steady. Again, no way for him to plant this safely. Just trying to hunt for frags, not going to find it. Ethan Silence is issued. And as the Hunter's Fury will come out, Austin is actually trying to force the issue forward. Doesn't love the look of it, and BCJ actually does convert first blood. But now Austin in the Empress finds the first. Not going to be able to find more beyond this, but does get out of dodge, and Zekin will clear space with this showstopper. Opportunity here for X to get a plan. Oh, Seal's Lark's been caught pretty early on here by BCJ. The battle still rages on, but at least Exit know what they're up against, and they have man advantage. Emperor's still alive here for Asuna as he's looking to try to poke and prod through the upper rafters, clear out some space for his team to work in with. BCJ 
He needs to keep his attention. Flush. Second on the corner. Information for Asuna to convert. Gets the dismiss. Steal on the back. Wins the elimination. No way. No way. Again? Surely not. You're going to find one. Has to respond to Asuna. Does. 1v1. Only 41 health for Steel, and Pure knows exactly where he's positioned. He can just wait for a toggle of the spike. Nanostorm's going to push him back, though. He can't necessarily challenge. Steel's going to get this to halfway. Going to try to stick. No. Nails off of it, but Pure goes to the high ground, and the clutch comes through for Pure. At you ask, still over towards the B site. 35 seconds. This execute, like you mentioned, probably going to be pretty free, but 100 Thieves starting to second-guess their setup just a left. touch, and now that the smokes and recon bolts come out, they will know that this is indeed going to be a play over towards it. Tough for you to take that without alts. Shock darts are decent. Second up top, Aaron lurking mid map actually catches Nitro on the rotation. Paranoia comes through. The attempt from Rafters. Zekin could meet this. Dark Cover comes out trying to deny him, but he gets elimination before the Bloom comes out of the Dark Cover. Now Pure down low, but he gets caught out. Hiko and Ethan for two. Ethan finds a double. Not again. 100 Thieves retake looking so potent. They're already going to go for a bit of a defuse. Aaron trying to stop this with a snake bite, but Hiko's gotten this to halfway. The take still has to be good here from Exit. They needed to continue with this, but the second snake bite very well could have done it. Steel's trying to soak through it, and it looks like he will successfully do just that. Defuse confirmed. And even though Aaron does clean things up with a three piece, 100. Including a dart there from Hiko. Shock dart also coming in. Pure tries to boost up top. Steel reads it like a book, though. Nitro collects the frag because of it. Uh, the Nano Storm's going to provide enough separation to make sure that steel can stay safe. Nitro trying to contest the fight. Finds one, grabs a second. That's three in the round for him. Asuna on the flank shouldn't be able to have a problem with second, but Nitro, how does he... F they have Asuna, though, kind of breaking down from this utility. Hits Hit up a huge amount, though. No stage to heal him, either. Gonna have to find a kill and heal off of an orb to get some sustainability, but not gonna happen. He gets taken out by pure attack, comes rolling in. Viper spins what? play also, but Ethan gets a big frag. The paranoia's gonna slow things out, but nobody checks the left. Pure gonna find one. It's not clean, so he does not find anything beyond it. But still, the numbers will prevail. Second attempt, but Hiko turns him aside. 3v3, Ethan still inside this Viper's pit. Down to a single point of health. Shot darts pushing around Aaron. He gets down, completely okay. caught off guard. Zekin will get there for the trade, but this is a 2v2 where 100 Thieves have actually once again dropped the spike carrier. And took care of the Viper's Pit. Now Nitro, waiting for Hiko to line things up. Holding on to this recon bolt. 30 seconds left. And there it goes. Nitro not going to get too much information off it, but still peeks anyways and catches Zekin again off guard. Just up to BCJ. <gasps> He's pushed back off of the spike initially, but still collects this. 15 seconds. Goes for the plant. Nitro's got just the poison cloud left. Going to see the information. A couple of shots will tag. Pico comes forward. Nitro there peeking with, and there will not be a double up. And they've almost zeroed out their economy in full. Pico reading some pressure. Just tosses out one Hunter's Fury. Dart. Not going to find anything behind it, but Aaron sneaking mid-map. He's heard some footsteps. Opportunity for one. Oh, it's not all that clean, though. Hiko turns and finds the instant trade, and Xset have not really gained a lot of space moving forward as of yet. It's been a couple of times they haven't been able to take advantage of, like, them getting the, the jump yep. on someone. Taking advantage of the forced play from Xset, 100 Thieves have cleared the backside of a ramps. Ethan just trying to stall off time. Aldrone coming through as well. And Ethan again finds another elimination on the pier who cannot cleanly find a free kill. So you would think. And now Austin on the back. Uh, except it's completely trapped up. Information coming off the dart. Clear will come through. Nitro is still a part of this as well. Austin up top still. More hijinks and hilarity coming out of the ropes play. And 100 deep. Kind of a reserved guy. And the guy just, his style of play though is completely opposed to that. And, and also his mentality is great. I think yeah. one of his like coaches put out a quote where when he had that 48 kill game, he's like, well, I lost 24 duels, though. I mean, he's always looking to be better. Dude. Down B. Aggressive peak again. I have to beg your pardon. I thought the economy was a lot lower than it is, actually, for Xset. Their full loss bonus allowed them to get a full purchase into play. But nobody can get through Asada, finally. It feels like Pure's the only player who can deal with him. So now Aaron. Trying to work the spike forward, but 100 Thieves still holding on to yellow, and they're not letting it go. It's just down to Aaron now, able to find Nitro, but this would be another 1v3 situation. Take Kitchen coming through. 
Second, the first one forward. Steel trying to deal with this. So oh, able to find your knives gonna be unsuccessful. Second response, not just with one, but finds the second. And the spike will go down pretty quickly, but Hiko playing over through the Raptors, able to find one in response. So once again, 100 Thieves, even in some sticky situations, have done well. Asuna coming over towards the top. Death deals with him. And that very well could be the kill that may confirm a second round here for X set. Ethan and Hiko trying to work this together. No paranoia, just a recon bolt. But Ethan has just walked on in towards the containers. Death would be the next one to contest, but Hiko deals with him. Opportunity now for 2v2. Exit playing this one safely through green. Hunter Spear going to be in the play, and Aaron stops Hiko's initial charge. Aaron trying to stick for this, but has to dodge through snake bites and Hunter's Furies alike. Time now a problem. He finds the first elimination. Going to have to try to stick for this, and BCJ will push him off. That will be the second round for Exit. Get out of dodge. Nitro is not confirmed for the plant yet. Now he'll go to stick for it. And 100 Thieves looking to set up their pose plant, largely just kind of in and around Raptors. They're not playing this one passively, and Pure's actually going to capitalize on a first blood. Opportunity to maybe clear some space off the paint shells for Axet, but I don't believe it actually fully got into the site. So that's not great news overall. Asuna up top, finds some damage, no kills. Ethan down low, looking to take place, finds one! Caught under the reload, Asuna comes to help out! And, well, Asuna comes to help out. I think that's pretty much where we can stop this race. <laughs> yeah. 3v2, BCJ does find a couple of kills, but Hiko and Nitro are in really good spots to try to stop this. Yeah, Shock Dart's coming in just the right time. It's going to stop that Diffuse. Maybe got halfway. Indeed it did, but just, I don't know about the time. Not going to be good. Matter. Yep. Here, though. Nice first shot. Poison Cloud will actually be in a position to push him off this angle eventually. But the Force Buy, as you would imagine for Xset, if you want to win the game, it's the right call. Or even have a chance at winning the game. Those double marshals, but a judge, an inspector, with a sheriff. But Asuna on this rope, dude. I have never seen somebody get so many kills off that rope through A. Yeah, he is feeling mega comfortable from that position, it seems, on both sides of the map. They have another four-on-four -four plant coming their way. Boombot comes in, not going to get there quick enough to stop the defuse, but it does get the pick on Ethan, and so now they have a 4 on 3 retake ahead of him. Maybe a chance here to make something happen. Well, opportunity, but you got to still get through all these rifles. Asuna gets a good read. Lear comes down, he does get tagged. Eco down low. Good for one. Asuna helps with the second. PCJ trying to stick. Not even going to get it to halfway, I believe, as Hiko does get the elimination. Just down to Zekin and, and T, but Doc Darts and Snake Bites and, you know, confidently get the site and be able to play it back. No threat of a flank. You could just keep popping that utility on the spike and just make it almost impossible on top of the decay from the cloud. So looking to get over at least towards where the ultimate orb has been placed, but mm -hmm. how you take this, I think, is the bigger question all in all. Especially with no ults, I mean, you have to just rely yeah. on base utility and just finding a pick, perhaps, which, I mean, they've been able to get those pretty easily off the back of Asuna. But, yeah, it definitely gets harder with the Viper's Pit. Here finds one. Gonna grab the second as well as Asuna was trying to double peek with Steel up top on the ropes. But Ethan does at least find a response. Beautiful shots actually coming through onto Pure. But the play could possibly still stay alive. Yeah. The thing about it is you really need Hiko to find a lot of information off of a recon bolt if you're going to clear out the space today. Yeah, they're starting to, you know, make sure they're not getting flanked. They put out a smoke middle. They're trying to, you know, maybe instill some doubt into X that they might be backing sure. off. The problem is Death has such a forward position on B, and they have mid covered here by BCJ. They can just feel pretty confident holding these players in position on A side. As I say that, though, Zekin does start to rotate out to middle a little bit in his own right. Aaron, though, still has a Viper's Pit in play. Alt's going to come in to get on the Raptors on the opposite side. All right, actually cancel just getting information yeah. instead. Gets paranoia onto Aaron. They're going to start coming in the pit. This corner is so good, though, for Aaron. Finds the first. A. Cannot respond to Hiko for the second. So now Zekin, the next one in, is going to have assistance by way of Aldron from BCJ. Gets a tag off onto Ethan. Here comes the player on the corner. Zekin does not win the gunfight. 100 Thieves will get this plant off. Shot cart making life a little bit difficult, though, as it just comes down to Hiko for a 1v2. One shot card to play with. The both players run the back. Friends, the first gets the set. Percent win right on the defense. So they will be starting on their favored side. But look how quickly 100 Thieves have taken the middle. They've also read that second. Will be rotating over from the back side archway. Hot hands will deny any space. And now Asuna, the first one forward. Death, the contestant in the backside arches. BCJ done well to find one elimination. Comes forward trying to find a little peek with Death. And they do confirm a two for one exchange. 
Yeah, pretty solid hold here from Xset, all things considered, on how fast some of these were able to get up middle and how they were able to clear away into the slide itself. But Death still holds firm in the back. Zack and Hasman caught, though. Numbers are now going to be equalized, and Death gets taken down by the shock guards. Great utility uses from Hiko. Back to a two on two, but a spike will go down. Deal. Takes care of the sentry turret without much cause for concern. Pure, though, has gained entry through the staircase. Sees Hiko, no problem there. Steal, though. It's the first headshot off. Sentry turret comes right back into play. Three. Yes. Now they know that it's likely going to be some type of A play, and they're in the right spot. Steel takes down Death, though, and that gives everything. Run. Oh, Hunter's Fury's going to also come out. Steel finds a second beyond that. ECJ, you have to feel like should have expected that challenge to come through at any moment in time, so Pure has to rotate, and even with those eliminations, 100 Thieves are actually going to bail away from the clearance they got from Hiko's Hunter's Fury to go instead play at the B site, and as they deal with Pure, this will be free for the Taken. Yeah, I mean, those two kills basically were the keys to the city. Stole from getting the spike down even still. Yeah, this is weird. Now the defending killjoy all comes out. I guess I've been trying to bait that out the whole time. Oh, Nasa tries to hold his ground. He will fall. Aaron gets two, and the lockdown does get destroyed. Just in the time, oh, pure nearly gets a collateral, but only finds Hiko. The response there from Steel, but it's still a 3v2. Now made a 2v2, at one point in time favoring X, that the spike is still down deep in towards A, but X can't find eliminations. Is there enough time to get this planted? There should be, but BCJ still has a shock dart. Plus he could try to spam things out, but still finds his third elimination. Out there, easy pickings for Ethan, and obviously this is a low buy for X set, just some upgraded pistols, death with Spectre, so not expecting much, but Def able to get one there inside the A lobby. BCJ almost found himself steal, but not quite. Alt now going to be in the back of B. It's committed, but BCJ scouted this out with the recon bolt. If he can win this 1v1, things get really interesting. Paranoia will stall the play. Pure's coming in with the blades. This is going to be a two-for-one exchange. Pure finds elimination. That's the spike down. Pure, how big can you go? Finds himself a second. Trying to rotate over quickly is Daff, and a weapon has been recovered. Shock Dart will go just a bit wide. So Daff a chance to try to stall this. Slow Orb also misses. Here, gonna get baited out with the shoulders, but finds one! Hiko with the response! Down to a 1v1. And Death is quickly making his play through the side hall. Hiko plays for the sound cue, but Death still swings! Finds the kill and a thrifty confirm for Xset! Team missed like a key timing on that split. Oh my goodness, so much information here. Attacking Lockdown is going to go to play, and Nitro actually does find first blood. That's Pure who was overpeaking through the catwalk side. So now Hunter is trying to move through, but BCJ holds his ground and finds two. And how pivotal is that? The entire setup essentially thwarted for 100 Thieves. They've got the res, but Nitro gets wall boost into a place where he could try to step onto the site. That was a beautiful shot of step through the window thanks to the wall boost. He'll get spiked down. His teammates are still holding main, and now they're defending the short side. They're getting wow. the key frags, and now it's all on death. Everything was looking so dire for 100 Thieves with the res, plus this little slippery play from Nitro. Thirds things into a 1v4 situation, now made 1v3 for death. And this is, I just don't know that how you take beauty. here. That was unbelievable. I mean, that looked like BCJ had just single-handedly clutched up the round for Xset's hold. Sure. Yeah, you you will sometimes see that wall there just to get a... Yep. Tossing a one away from having that run at back. Hunter Fury available also. Steal. Oh, a oh. missed shot from Pure. That's going to be very costly. Gets the 5 on 4 to 100 T. With still a lot of time left. Asuna clears out line. Now he can run it back into a site. He has to worry about these nano swarms a little bit here, but still trying to get some space. Great wall oh. boost here from Ethan, but it gets caught by Aaron. Lost the Nova Pulse as well. How good was that utility from Death and Aaron? Now the Hunter's Fury are going to try to come through, but Nitro double through mid. And the retake in close quarters with it. Though it does have a lot of no scope accuracy. Well, Death will tag up Steel, but immediately healed. So essentially moot point outside of the armor being taken off. Here though, this will hit a little bit harder and does it ever. Double kill coming through this the collat right down catwalk. 100 Thieves still committed though. They're moving quickly. And Aaron with an SMG could be in a position to blow this place up. You've got the trailblazer coming through. Aaron gonna make his move now. Not gonna find the better though of Nitro. ECJ still looking for the Hunter's Fury. Tags up Asuna down low, but he's able to self-sustain off the blaze wall. And this is a 2v2 that is still very much so doable realistically from both yeah. sides.
Yeah, lockdown off the board too as Aaron was fragged out, so no alts in play here. It's just all gonna come down to fragging, and it's an op and a marshal versus two rifles, and everyone from 100T is now fully healthy thanks to the heal. Nico catching BCJ as well, adds insult to injury, op shot missed. Not looking good here for Exit. Oh, but Pure snuck on. Have they heard him? Seems to be the case. Finds the first shot. Resets. Knows where else it is. 1v1! Oh! The Red Bull clutch out of Pure! Basically robbed the 100 keys. He was the real robber in that situation. CJ flashed out, trying to play it off. Angle still finds the first kill on Austin. Are you kidding? Pure still feeling the hot hand, finds more. But Nitro teleports back onto the site, finds himself a double, but nobody is getting through Pure. One more. Give it to him. Sheriff in hand. But hold on. Don't give Ethan a chance at the 1v3, says Xset. Yeah, a little bit of discipline there to back off. Just kind of settle down. Been a Imagine lot of crazy things that. going on here. <laughs> this is roll it back in. Make sure you secure the victory. But yeah, Pierce definitely been teeing off. He's feeling himself for sure. Keeping the momentum of the previous round and popping off some more big frags at the op here in this round. Not leaving much hope here for Ethan. Let's have Spike. That's about the only thing going for him. Oh, man. 30 seconds left. Do it, Pierre. Give him another four. He's seen the ponytail walk by. Did he? Rotation, yeah, he did for sure. Seconds on the rotation over. And yeah, Pure's watching this back there. See? Bang! No problem. Four for Pure again. I know the game very much. Well. Hopefully we'll get the show. Yeah. I'm not crazy. Anyway, Pure is still opping. Still finding success with it too. Yep. Steel though has made some movement through the middle of the map. Might catch death here on the reload, and yes, does. So now an opportunity for 100 Thieves to use this advanced position, maybe as a chance to set up an attack, but the spike is still mm -hmm. lingering over through a catwalk. At the very least, it's going to cause a disturbance in the rotations here of Xset. Sure. They can't really feel comfortable. They could be getting B split for all they know. Could have a back hauls push from Steel at some point, so Zekin has to respect that. Definitely puts them a little bit more on edge as far as what they need to be responsible for, and 100 Thieves can try to use oh. that to outmaneuver their opponent yet again, but again, Zekin so aware of this, but he still goes down, and this is going to really open up that A site. Kieran, though, does respond. Pure still has the knives to play with. And a shout left. out to the alarm bot picture in picture just to know essentially how Xset will have to rotate. Defending lockdown coming through slow orb going to be a big deterrent for Pure. Still gets away from this. Spike is down. There is no response for this lockdown, so Nitro's going to have to try to alleviate the site and will be able to do so. Aaron trying to get very quickly through the side door. Pure up top, pushed back by a shock dart. Ethan in a corner, gonna get help from Nitro on the cross. Now it's just focusing up towards heaven, and there are the kills. Cool. Killjoy usually those set up on this A site that they're gonna have to get through somehow. Uh oh. Paranoia through main. There's all the nano storms coming through. Everyone takes so much damage, including an elimination. Oh, it all just came right into the jaws of the defense of 100 thieves. And Steel happy just to hit the E key a couple of times to get himself a free kill, but the play is still alive. PCJ, <laughs> good damage, finds himself a double. And Death has never revealed his position. 1v2 from behind. Spike is down, but is quickly coming onto Ethan, who knows that there's a play from behind, too. They've read it, they deal with it, and 100 Thieves take the pistol. Yeah, really. Here does get into the boathouse, so some forward progress being made. They survived through the nano storms this time, so there's already a bit of a difference here for the attack. Zekin finds one on the cross. Steel trying to wall bang with the Eerie. Not going to find one, but holds on the trigger to get BCJ. Exchange still, still favoring the offense. The plant will come through. Certainly. Only two players left to retake with for 100T. One, one of which remaining. is just a Spectre here, and now that's even gone. It's all on Eco. Huh. As it gets shut down, now they know. Steel's on his way over. Alt as well from Nitro into the back of the site. There's really no uh, way now for Xset to, to, to pivot. They have to commit. Yeah, Death gets caught. Steel finds a second. Hiko also a part of this. BCJ was the last one here. And the Hunter's Fury still gets spent. Ah, a little bit of communication and coordination beyond that for Xset on this rotation. And 100 Thieves are going to yep. capitalize. Not enough time I, for a plant. I have to commend, though, 100 Thieves. Crossity with the attack getting locked down as well. So it's going to be down to who wants to commit to this. And it looks like Xset are going to kind of kill yeah, turn. Steel spins his lockdown to kill the opposing lockdown and their Cosmic Divide. So pretty nice one alt traded for two, basically. Nitro's Paranoia gives Asuna a chance to hold this in simultaneous fashion. One for one initially. Ethan up top. Trying to get a play in, but 
The kills are still looking really good. Abram's able to find a double. Pure's gonna stick for the plant, and now it's just on to Ethan and Steel to try to recover this 2v2. Look at Ethan having all the elevation options now as well. With the Swan, he'll avoid the Nano Swarm because of it also. So, I mean, this is just a beautiful use of Ethan's barrier. Yeah, he ran down low, low HP. Sees one, sees the second! This is a very important round for both teams to kind of set the tone for the rest of the half. Here's gonna trust the Blades this time through. And they're looking for this play right over the board house, finds the first. Pico though, still finds BCJ. Possibility for more damage to come through, actually tags up one more on the exchange. That's Aaron who gets down to 70 health. So yes, it's numbers here for Xset off of a plant, yes. but damage has been confirmed for 100 Thieves. Surely it has. Stars are just now starting to get repositioned, but they won't come for quite some time. So that gives a little bit of a window here for 100 T's. They're going to drone into the main and find Aaron out in the corner. He has to give up the angle. 100 T's can start to move forward for a retake. 3v3 would be what it is on the site itself. Two players deep into Archway. Also, they're going to try to cover some things with the Blaze Wall. Time becoming a bit of a problem. 100 T's are going to have to go. Are they even going to go for this? They finally come into Aaron, but. There might not be enough time to go. They're going to give this yeah. round away. I feel like Def got those stars back just in time to put those nebulas down to block both retake points back into the site. And they couldn't really build off of discovering Aaron. Nitro's going to get a lot of exits, but round's still going to exit. So they get to save three weapons at least. I feel like they wouldn't have really had to insinuate that exit is clearing out a main. And this wall's not going to give much information either to 100 Thieves. It just cuts right down the middle. It does block off the rotation, and there's the read. Nitro uses it from the shadows to see how many players are coming through B main. So two players defensively for 100 Thieves in the back of the site. Kiko's got no utility to play with, and a lot of the sage utility also has been spent. So it's going to be down to the vanilla gunplay. Asuna coming in from behind finds one, but not a second. Trade's pretty even. Kiko down to 11 HP, not able to stay alive, and a 3v2 will unfold his exit plants. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't rotate faster after Nitro uses all inside B lobby and saw that many players. They still held two at back in heaven, which allowed Exit to have a good numbers advantage on B side to take. Aww. And now they have the lockdown to help secure against the retake. You can see it's pressuring on Thieves to go for it here. Now and they'll lose their battles, and that's it. Exit at map and series point and hunt mix. The heroics of Nitro. Just how about the call from 100 Thieves? Initially, it's all off Asuna trying to play aggressively over through Cubby. That comes up completely null and void. And then this quick rotation right here. You thought that X set was going to have the beat on him, but Nitro gets one, the paranoia to help out to make sure BCJ also falls. And then from there, it's just the Nitro show. Yeah, beautiful stuff. From X set, up through Catwalk to hit Nitro. into A, and they have spotted one at tree already. Austin is also here, but pure. He actually darts right on through, finds the first. Wants to clear things out. It's Ethan down low. Misses the shot. Ethan's able to capitalize on the one. Time becoming a problem. Ethan finds a second. That's the spike carrier down. Six seconds on the clock. 100 Thieves full rotating. Dev trying to plant. Aaron, meanwhile, finding an elimination. But Nitro on the site, not going to find anything. It all comes down to steel. 1v3. Beautiful shots from Aaron. Must be said. He saved the day. Can steel do the same, though? Slips by heaven. Alarm bot scouts it out. Spam shots from below. Doesn't tag up steel. He's got to go though. Finds the first. Flashed up. He grabs the second.